This video is for resetting your page count on your Samsung CLX3175 uh, um, FW. Um, I'm not sure if this procedure will work on other models, but I worked on this one. I already did it, so I'll just show you the results and how I did it. I printed out a configuration page before I did it to show you that the page count was at uh, 12, 1,260. And that's the magic number for this printer because if you're refilling your ink or your uh, toner cartridges, um, it cuts off at that point because it says the toner is exhausted and it won't let you print anymore. Now, I open this up here. I didn't bother replacing the chips. If you can see them here, there's no chips except for in the black one. So the printer isn't going by what this chip reads because there is no chip. It's going by how many pages it prints color versus um, mono. So when it reaches uh, 1,260, it says, okay, all of these should be empty and then it stops printing. So you don't have to buy a chip for these toner cartridges. It'll just go by the page count. Um, the black one actually is the manufacturer's one. I haven't ran out of that one yet, so that one's still in. Um, and then it's going warm up here. Okay, and the first thing you want to do is remove the cover on the uh, right side here. And it's just a simple screw. There's a screw here, and it's in the back. And then other than that, it's just some clips around the bottom and the front side, and you just pull them off very gently. And it just comes right off. And the actual, to actually reset it, you're gonna need a wire. I have an alligator clip on one end and a paper clip on the other end. Um, but you want to find a ground, which there happens to be a ground at the bottom right here. And then you're actually going to find a chip, and I'm going to turn the lights so you can see it better. But there's a chip back in there that we're going to ground and reset the count. Okay, now i got the light on. I'm going to show you that chip. It's actually behind this thing. And it's that square one, a rectangle one right be below my finger. Now it's above my finger. And the first thing you want to do is power off your printer and unplug it. And then you're going to take your paper clip on your wire that's grounded and stick it on. If I can get it in here. The, the pen on the outside there. If you can see it right there. And when you do this, obviously you make sure your printer is unplugged or else you short it out. Um, but you're going to hold that there, plug your printer back in, still holding it, turn it back on, and wait for it to go through all its processes and turn, like, you know, in the standby state, I guess, before you take this off. Um, it shouldn't show an error message or anything. It'll just go through the process, and it'll take a little bit longer because it's trying to read this chip that we're grounding, and it won't be able to, so it'll take a little bit longer to initialize, but... Okay, just turn it on. Waiting for it to kick on now. There it goes. Oops. You don't want to do that, so I'll probably have to do this again. Okay. Yeah, that didn't run nearly as long as it was supposed to, so I'll probably have to do this again. It runs easily minute, two minutes, so. I'll have to do that again. Okay, so I did it right that time. It ran through the processes, and this is the screen you get. And if you go through your um, menu here and go to reports and configuration port and go ahead and print one of those, I'm not because I already did, um, you will get this printout as saying zero pages printed. Now you will, you I'll get the old one out here. You will lose your I lost my IP address, but I think that's because I reset it beforehand. 
you will lose your USB serial in your country but that's no big deal now actually you lose the um, installation date too install date resets to zero zero two um, when you're at this point you don't want to turn off the printer yet you want to establish a count because a zero count if you turn it off now it will go back to that so you want to establish a count a page count so what I did is I just opened the cover the scanner cover and ran one page black one page color and then I after that finished I turned it off restarted it or plugged it back in turned it back on and got the 1-1 one -one and my new installation date which is today and my IP address I reprogrammed it and I got my USB serial back and then everything's green if I go to the maintenance and I go to supply life I go total there's one and well, actually there's two now because I printed out the configuration page um, our serial number is back and you want to print that let's go ahead and print that okay and this is the printout we got for our uh, supply information um, it reset pretty much everything that's related to page counts your page counts at the top your fuser life transfer roll, uh, roll or tray life you know all that stuff the toner remaining reset except for the last one because that has the manufacturer's chip serial numbers installation dates page counts they all reset except for the black because that's the Samsung one and actually reset your imaging unit page count too so the installation date is today and it doesn't think that it ever printed but six images so this is a good way to uh, not have to buy the reset printer chips or the cartridge the toner chips and just use the page count as reference to how much tone you have left um, so you don't have to buy those chips and yeah because I don't even have them installed on the colors at all and it works just fine um, so if you're refilling your cartridge or your toner and it's giving you an error saying that the toner's exhausted or you know any other error message related to the toner being gone this would be a good way to bypass that thanks for watching